so in this video let's talk about sudden falls so uh, you might have some patients who you know complain that they they suddenly have these uh, you know fainting episodes right so it could even be some of your of your friends because it is a very common condition and the main differentials to know and the main things you have to know when uh, you know patient says he's having fainting episodes are these drop attacks vasovagal syncope situational syncope seizures hypoglycemia and stokes adams syndrome so let's talk about each one of them so the first one that we have to know is drop attacks so this is nothing but sudden fall without loss of consciousness so um in this video in this video we can see this patient was doing some work and he suddenly dropped from wherever he was standing he suddenly dropped and then he didn't lose consciousness as you can see he is still moving and he again gets back to normal he uh, gains i mean the support and he come, gets back so the main reason for this condition is transient vertebro basilar insufficiency so so as you can see here this is the arch of aorta and like this the patient's uh, common carotid artery is going up and uh, from the subclavian artery vertebral artery is arising right so this vertebral artery goes up and supplies to the posterior part of the brain therefore uh, and this vertebra vert vertebral artery this one eventually will give off the basilar artery so this is the basilar artery all right so this is the vertebro basilar system so if there is any insufficiency in this system there is lesser blood going to the circle of villus or the posterior part of the brain or the brain overall right so because there is less, less blood supply going to the brain the patient will have falls so as we have seen the patient will uh, have a sudden fall and there he won't lose any consciousness consciousness he'll come back he'll gain back all the conscious i mean next one is vasovagal syncope so in vasovagal syncope the patient will have any kind of trigger okay any emotional trigger or any kind of pain or anything which will eventually lead to consciousness uh, loss of consciousness so this trigger will uh, eventually set in hypotension or low bp and this will lead to loc or loss of consciousness so we can see that in this uh, video this patient is undergoing that piercing right over his uh, over his eyebrows so right after that piercing the patient is feeling a little dizzy and he uh, you know started falling down right he started lying down in the, on the bed and you can see how the patient is slowly drifting away he is slowly you know losing more and more consciousness and and he has finally fainted so this is vasovagal syncope so any trigger may, might lead to this condition and the patient will feel better right after he feels better next one is situational syncope which means syncope arising with you know some kind of situations so it could be micturition micturition syncope that is when the patient is peeing he is uh, probably you know uh, having this kind uh, this episode or when he is defecating all right so the next one we're going to talk about is seizures so she in seizures the patient is going to have sudden fall and he is going to lose consciousness so he is going to have loss of consciousness and there is going to be a post ictal state so this is how you differentiate so uh, so any patient after having these you know the seizure episode he is not going to remember what happened to him in those you know a uh, few minutes when he was having the seizure all right so uh, we'll see a video about it so in this video we can see how this patient has fa uh, fall he has fallen down and he is having these slight myoclonic jerks right in this patient there are a few more you know serious myoclonic jerks so this is nothing but a seizure so this patient would not remember what happened to that what happened in that you know point of time right so the next thing we're going to talk about is hypoglycemia so hypoglycemia is nothing but uh, you know obviously a uh, hypo that is low glycemia sugar in the blood so any diabetic or a uh, patient on insulin or the patient has a tumor a uh, pancreatic tumor called insulinoma or the patient is taking some kind of anti diabetic drug such as sulfonylureas it could be any trigger any uh, hypoglyc any hypoglycemic risk factors which eventually lead to low blood sugars so this low blood sugar will cause uh, tremors or shaking in the patient along with sweating and palpitations all right so the main thing uh, you have to know is the patient is not going to lose com consciousness completely he may or he may not all right so sometimes he is in a total unconscious state or he may even go into coma or the patient will have some kind of you know alternating consciousness 
so the present uh, so the treatment for this condition is if the patient is stable enough if the patient is conscious then you give him oral okay any uh, oral things like you know even chocolates would do or oral uh, glucose supplements or anything all right if the patient is not conscious unconscious and if he uh, if we are able to access a iv line in this patient then give him iv gluc glucose iv 10% 10d all right 10% dextrose or if the patient is uh, he is unable to get i mean we are unable to grab an iv access then you give him im glucagon all right so it is important that you have to give manage him carefully and immediately okay uh, so, and the patient uh, unlike the other conditions he is not going to get back to consciousness on his own unless we we treat him the hypoglycemia is not going to get normal the next one is stokes adams syndrome so stokes adams syndrome is nothing but uh, any patient with bradycardia or any kind of heart block okay so heart block is eventually going to cause a decreased cardiac output right because your heart is not functioning well so there will be decreased cardiac output and when there is decreased cardiac output there is going to be decreased blood supply to the brain as well right so this decreased blood supply to the brain is going to cause conscious loss of consciousness okay so this uh, is all because of drop in cardiac output because of intermittent complete heart block all right so uh, once uh, the heart gets back to normal once the heart rate is pumping heart rate is normal once the heart is pumping properly uh, the patient will again gain consciousness so that's all about uh, different types of uh, you know conditions causing falls thank you happy studying